IB English B High Level, May 2022, Paper 1. This is question 1 and a level 7 model answer. We cannot produce the actual question for copyright reasons, but if you refer to it, question 1 is just is regarding two friends who have a fallout over what to do after they graduate. And the question you have to answer in three parts. Firstly, what actually happened? Secondly, how your feelings have changed? And thirdly, how you can resolve the situation? You're also given three options for text types, email, journal, and a proposal. The most appropriate one is an email. So you need to use this if you answer the question. Dear Adam, I have been contemplating what happened and feel I must contact you and try and resolve the situation. We are best friends and it is astonishing we fell out over an issue that could have been avoided. The reason why I get, we get on so well is because we are so different. You and I don't even support the same football team. I honestly believe it was the intense pressure of the exams that was largely to blame for the pair of us to act so emotionally and angrily towards each other. We were supposed to be planning one of the most exciting and happiest adventures and suddenly we started arguing with each other over how we should celebrate our graduation. How did it start and why did it get out of hand? Remember in the debating society, you wisely observed Nobody walks away victorious from an argument, and how true this is. I feel very guilty and extremely upset that I behaved in such an irrational way and made comments that were hurtful and unnecessary. I want to redeem myself. Obviously, I upset you, and you responded with derogatory remarks that were said in the heat of the moment. I bear no grudges towards you because I'm confident you may now feel and think in the same way. We have known each other since primary school and let's be honest, it's not the first time we have had our differences. Remember in year seven when you said you would never speak to me again and by the end of the day we were laughing so much in the history lesson. Our fallout has taught me an important lesson and that is never to lose my temper because you always deeply regret what you say in rage. I genuinely hope you can understand my need to make amends with you. Actually, the unpleasant incident we found ourselves in has made me change for the better. We soon will be going to university and have to control our emotions and not express negative thoughts. A part of life is understanding, accepting and respecting our differences. I would now like to suggest how we can move forward. You are the person I enjoy being with the most and we can both compromise. We can both discuss a few possible options or each of us could suggest a place to visit or what we should do. We can decide whether we agree or not. I could decide where we should go and you could suggest what we should do. This sounds reasonable and fair. Whatever we discuss, both of us should remain calm and remind ourselves we deserve to celebrate after studying so hard. This is what I suggest and if you have any other options, I'm more than willing to listen. I want to graduate on a high note and I'm sure you do as well. Let's forget about our fallout and move forward on a more positive note. I look forward to hear from you and I'm sorry for what happened. I want closure. I hope you do too. Speak soon. Daniel.